good morning good morning good morning my youtube family it's coach erica janelle and i wanted to come before you guys and kind of piggyback off of the message that i left a couple of days ago um about navigating through those challenges and staying the course is so important um especially in the day and age that we are living in I don't think there's ever a time in society where you're not going to go through challenges personally, universally, in your country, in your state, whatever the case may be. Um, but I want to kind of piggyback on that message a little bit today and go a little bit deeper and talk about how to navigate the different seasons of your life. Um, and as we all know, um, there are different seasons. There are seasons when you're going through challenging times. There are seasons that seem really destitute and where you feel very alone and very um, just hopeless. There are seasons where things start to grow and manifest and you're like feeling high, you know, living high off of life because things are working in your favor. And then there are seasons where you're not really sure what you're supposed to do. You know, you're not you're kind of uneasy and unsure about your next path about where you're going and these are all natural things as human beings that we face and i just want to encourage you guys that when you're going through the challenging season seasons the thing that helps me through my most challenging seasons is to look back and reflect on the positive times in my life and the positive seasons and how I was able to navigate through those or even the seasons where I was going through a rough time and then I saw God open up doors and things started to get a little easier for me. And I say that to say it's very mind, it's very important to be mindful of your, your frames of reference. When you have a frame of reference that you can say, okay, I remember I was in this situation and God delivered me out of it that time. So when I'm faced with this similar situation, I know that it may not work out exactly the same, but I know that God's with me and I know that I'm not by myself. And I know that there is wisdom, there is opportunities, there are answers to help me navigate through this path. And I am doing that in my own personal life. I've constantly been focused on, as I mentioned um, in the earlier video um, a couple of days ago, I have really been focused on just being in a place of gratitude. Um, and not so much, even when things all around me are chaotic and it's falling apart and it's crumbling and it looks like I'm in this fight for no reason or I'm by myself and nothing's going to change. Even when I feel that level of discouragement, I'm learning how to go back into my mental Rolodex and reflect on all of the ways and all of the things that God has done to bring me out of things that were really hard for me in those particular times in my life. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, there were definitely times when uh, I, when my first husband walked out and I was young, I was early 20s. Um, and, and many of you know, I got married at 18 the first time. And I was, I didn't know what to do. Um, I had been, you know, working as an admin assistant prior to getting pregnant with my daughter. And I would say probably around the time when she was about two or three years old is when, you know, my ex-husband started to cheat and, and, and just change in the way that he talked to me and treated me. And when he finally left and, and went with his mistress, he left me with nothing. He was in the military. I was basically, you know, everything was under him. And because it was a decision that both of us made for me to be um, more focused on my daughter and I was doing a little admin work as a temp but nothing like major where I was in the financial position to be able to navigate through paying a rent and paying car note and light bills and all of these other things so I'm 22 23 years old and I'm struggling trying to figure out how I'm going to navigate through this I'm, you know, trying to figure out okay is the military going to have any programs that could help me you know what am I going to be able to do and I just remember being at this place in my life where I didn't know what, I didn't have anybody. And I, I've always been the kind of person that when I moved away from my mom's house at 18 and I was on my own, actually I moved out at 17, but when I was on my own, I never really called my mom for anything. I felt like she did everything that she could do for me up to that point. As an adult, it was on me to try to figure out how to navigate through life and how to navigate my finances. And 
um, I also lived out of state at the time, so it was kind of like I had no family. Everybody that I knew was either people that I knew from my church or things like that. And so there have been times where I had to humble myself and go and live it with a friend. And here I am in my early 20s. All of my friends are, you know, younger than me or the same age as me, but none of them have the level of responsibilities that I had. None of them were married. Um, and none of them had a child. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I going to be able to survive? And I just remember, you know, being so determined to figure out how not to be a victim um, or not to be a sob story or not to feel sorry for myself. So I went, I signed up with, uh, with staffing agencies. And at that time, I don't know if they still do this. But I remember they used to test you on like your Microsoft Office skills and where you were. They would give you levels if you were a beginner or Microsoft Word or intermediate or expert level. And I remember, you know, not really knowing a lot of that stuff um, like I do now. And I remember just taking the test the first time and I wasn't good at it. I got, I got like beginner level at a lot of things. My typing was always good. Um, and so... I was like, okay, well, I can only be a receptionist probably. So I went on and um, I took a couple of receptionist jobs that were temp and I was able to, you know, navigate through that. But while I was at a receptionist level, I was determined to not be in that place where I had to depend on um, anybody to take care of me. So I studied myself and I, I learned Microsoft Office. I learned Word. I learned Excel. I learned Outlook. I learned uh, PowerPoint. I learned project microsoft project microsoft access i taught myself all of those programs retested and then i was able to get into executive assistant level jobs that's one of those things where i had to learn how to navigate through that season i could either take that season and allow it to destroy me or i could take that season and push myself to become something better and it's not always to say that every time you are going to be able to find some easy cookie cutter way to go through your different challenges but it is to say that even in the midst of seasons where you feel like nothing is working with you everything is working against you nothing is on your side you're struggling you're fighting you're, you're stressing you you don't know how to see the light at the end of the tunnel even in those seasons it pays to have a level of stillness in your life and a level of just when you take a moment, even if it's nothing more than 10 minutes out of your day, when you start your day and just get quiet before God or before whoever you believe, whatever your spiritual entity is, get quiet and actually ask for wisdom. I'm a, I'm a Christian. So the things that I believe, you know, I, I believe in the word and the Bible says that if any man asks for wisdom, if, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God and he gives it freely to all men. Um, and that is one of the scriptures that has always stuck with me and i always try to go before god when i don't know how to navigate through a situation i go before god and i get quiet and i get still and i say god i ask you for wisdom in how to navigate through this system this particular situation i said system i'm sorry this particular situation because i know that i don't have the knowledge within myself to figure this out i've tried everything and it's not a thing of you just sit there, wait back and relax and let God do everything. It doesn't work like that. Nothing falls out of the sky. You've got to put some action in to be able to, to get to the level of what you're trying to get to. And I would just sit still and ask for wisdom. And there were times where I would get answers and there were times where I wouldn't. So when I wouldn't get the answers, I was just trying to just, okay, think through the process of, what are some things that I can do right now to fix my situation? I may not know how to do everything, but what can I do right now that could potentially fix my situation? And I would kind of write out those things and make the phone calls, do the things that I needed to do. Um, and as I was doing those things, I noticed that as I was moving and moving and operating in faith by faith, not necessarily waiting for something to fall down from the sky, but I was moving by faith and I was allowing myself to, um, to, to be led and be guided by the spirit of God. And when I was able to do that, I noticed that there would be things that would open up to me and I'd be like, Oh my gosh, I didn't, I never thought of that. Or I never saw that. And it would be like an epiphany would hit me. And so I say that to say, even when you don't know what to do, 
Get busy doing the things that you know you can do to try to change your situation. If it's financial, and God knows I have been through some financial doozies in my life, and I'm I'm actually going through one right now, but I don't I don't wear it. I, I know how to navigate through it to the best of my ability. And that's not to say that I win this test all the time because it's hard when you when you have things that you are trying to accomplish and you feel like all of your opportunities are being slammed in your face. Um, but whatever the thing is, whether it's finances, whether it's relationship, whether it's your children, whether it's, you know, trying to lose weight, whether it's trying to be healthy and, 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 and overcome some type of sickness or disease, whatever that thing is that you're trying to navigate, I encourage you to do whatever you can do to try to fix your situation. Pray for the wisdom, pray for the guidance, sit still, take 10 minutes out of your day and just meditate. And I can hear some people saying now, well, I don't know how to meditate. It's really not that deep. It's really not. Everybody's different. What you do is different maybe from what somebody else does. But from my experience, meditation for me is I sit down, I get quiet, I turn off every distraction, whether it be the TV, the, the phone, the whatever. And for 10 minutes, I do breathing exercises. I inhale, I exhale, I release the stress out of my body, and I open my mind up. I block the negative thoughts from coming in and even if they come in i try to focus my energy on what it is that i'm believing for so if it's money that i need to manifest then i'm focusing on that money that i need to bring in so that's where my energy goes and so take your time meditate be still seek the wisdom um and ask for the understanding and the knowledge of how to get through it and if you can't do it by yourself and you're not able to hear anything um, immediately, go to somebody that you really love and that you really trust and, and ask them, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. What do you think are some suggestions of things that I may be able to do to kind of help in my situation? I'm going through and I'm, I'm meditating and I'm asking God for wisdom, but I realize that I'm limited. I don't know everything. Is there something that you may be able to give me some advice on or something you can maybe um, show me to help me navigate through this? It's okay to ask for help. But I just want to encourage you guys that when you go through these seasons, when you go through these challenges, take the time to reflect back on what it is that brought you out of the seasons the first time and then take your time to meditate and seek the wisdom for figuring out how to get through this situation i'm literally doing this right now in a situation that i'm dealing with that's a pretty big deal i mean and it's life-changing what i need to deal with and i have to know how to navigate it and i don't necessarily have all the answers so when i don't have the answers i know that i need to be still and I know that I need to seek the wisdom <clears throat> from God and I need to depend on him to show me how to navigate through this situation. So I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. I know it's a lot of information. It's a lot of things that I've put together, um, <clears throat> a lot of things that I mentioned, but just understand that this is not gonna always be. You're still here, you're still breathing, so you're gonna make it through this. You just have to figure out how to navigate best. And it doesn't mean to, it doesn't mean that everything is always going to work out the way you want it to, but it does mean that you're at least acknowledging that God knows more than you do. <laughs> and sometimes your friends and people that you fellowship with know more than you do. And it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to ask for wisdom. It's okay to sit still and be reflective of what you've already been through because it does encourage you and give you that motivation and that strength to push through the next thing. I feel like every trial and tribulation that we go through in life, it builds character and it builds us up and gives us the strength we need to go through the next season. And there's levels to it. So what you could have done, what you did back then, you take that same faith that it took for you to get through that and then you use it to get through this next thing. And now your faith is even stronger. And then when you go through something even more challenging, you have your faith built up to be able to tackle that. No, it may not always seem like you can handle it, but guess what? You're still here. It didn't take you out. So guess what? You can handle it. And I'm reminded of another scripture. It says, in this world, you'll have tribulation, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. And that was Jesus talking. And so, yes, you're going to have tribulation. Nobody's ever told you that this life was going to be easy. My journey has certainly not been easy. Um, but guess what? We navigate through it and we make the best of what our situations are. 
whether it seems fair or unfair, whether it seems terrible or not terrible, regardless, it didn't take us out. So guess what? We can still navigate through it and become victorious and successful over whatever challenges we face. I love you guys. I hope that word of encouragement makes sense to you. Um, but I'm just doing this from my heart. I'm not even, nothing's written down. It's just coming from my heart. And I pray that it touches the lives of those that it needs to touch. I love you guys. I will see you guys soon. Bye.